honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee treasures. Come on, let's get busy. Nothing better than a few exercises to get us going in the morning. This side, she gets her hands. And run back down. Ten times. Go. One, two, three. Your knees up to your chin. That's getting right. Oh, you two must be super fit. <laughs> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Please can we go to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Raymond with Lisa. Hello dear. <laughs> Raven. Hiya, Granny Molly. Oh, and Lisa. Come. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it looks like everyone is as fit as a fiddle in here today. Oh, that's right. I've joined an exercise class and I've been showing the children some of my new exercises. Oh, sound goes to me, Ailey's. <laughs> <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Hey, my darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as a keep fit instructor <laughs> and we can jog over to our chairs. Ooh. Oh, get those knees up! <laughs> well, I'm very impressed with your Keep Fit and because you've been working so hard at it, I've selected you to take part in the very special promotion I'm running in the Buffy car today. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Try one of these sensational snack crumbles. Ooh, they look tasty. They are delicious and they're so crumbly. <laughs> Ooh. But before you take Granny Murray, make sure you have something to collect all the crumbs. Oh, <laughs> right you are. And when you eat it, eat it very delicately or else the crumbs will go all over the place. <sighs> okay, thank you. Oh. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, yes, they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> oh, there's no use, I can't resist. Raymond! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. But it might be better to always take the advice you give. You're right. Now, I'm going to take the advice I give, and that's to keep fit. So come on, let's jog over to Claude. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, Claude, you look so fit. <laughs> oh, doesn't he? Well done, my darlings. Oh. This is for you. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, wow, he looks fit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Big hugs. <laughs> I better get to work. Come on, you. Chew one out. Now remember, always take the advice you give. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I take a ticket, ticket on the metro. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the points. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. All dressed and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the nine o'clock from River Sea Fingal to Drumtown is now departing from platform four. And today is the day of my special snack crumble promotion. <laughs> Try snack crumble, the most delicious scrumptious snack to be found anywhere. Now, I bet the rush will start any minute. Oh, Dr. Juno! Oh, hi, Raymond. You are my first customer of the day. Am I? Uh -huh. I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, oh. oh, oh don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Raymond. I'm doing a publicity campaign for the drive for healthy eating. Look, it says, if it's a snack, 
Don't take the biscuit, take the fruit. That's a really good piece of advice, Dr Juno. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, I spoke to your management. They said it was all right to hand out some leaflets on the train. Oh, good idea. Maybe you could hand out some leaflets for me. Oh, no probs. I'll just put them next to the display for my snack crumbles. Right, thank you, Raymond. Right, I've got a dash. And why don't you try one of my delicious... Oh. <laughs> oh. I wonder how my little Lisa's getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Ping, go River Sea Ping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Ping, go River Sea Ping, go that's for me. Yay! Remember to hold on to the railing when you go down the stairs, darling. You too, Granny Murray. Oh yes, me too. Your dad would be very proud of how careful we're being. Where is your train now, Daddy? Hello, Raymond. How are you? Oh, hi, Mickey John. Uh, what can I get you? Ah, uh, what have you got? Well, you could take part in the special promotion today I'm running in the Buffy car. Try one of these delicious snack crumbles. Oh, they look good. I'll have one of those. In fact, make it two. They look so tasty. Well, there you go. Oh, and here is a leaflet from Dr Juno. Oh, right, thank you. If it's a snack, don't take the biscuit. Take the fruit. Oh, that's very good advice, you know, Raymond. Uh, I don't think I'll have these two snack crumbles. I think I'll have a nice piece of fruit instead. Oh, so a uh, nice uh, juicy apple for me, please, Raymond. Well, that's, uh, that's 50 pence, please. Thanks, Raymond. See you later. Oh. Suppose I better go on with some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Six is just a looking So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Is this a snack crumble I see before me? No, it's a whole pile of them. And we're on our way back to River Sea Fingal. Some of these should have been eaten by now. Hi, Raymond. Oh, hi, Dr Juno. How are the leaflets doing? Oh, very well, actually. Oh, they have, haven't they? Mm. Here, have some more. Do up, 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 what you got there? Ooh, these are a special promotion of delicious snack crumbles. The crumbliest, most delicious snack ever. Sounds good, Ray. Yeah, we'll take a couple of those, please, Raymond. Oh, yay! Have some of these. Mm. Ooh, and look. Mm. If it's a snack, don't take the biscuit. Take the fruit. <laughs> uh, actually, Ray, can, can we, we have, have some fruit, fruit please? instead, please? Oh, yes, of course. Oh no, I've none left. Oh, no sweat. We'll get some fruit once we're in Riversea Fingal. Yeah. Oh no, have some snack crumbles instead. No thanks, dude. Do oh. do do I wonder how you're getting on, Lise. I love to skip in Riversea Fingal, Riversea Fingal by the sea. I love to skip. Lisa, remember you need to look left and right before you cross the road and you must always hold hands. Right, that's us. Granny, 
bloody hand. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Yes, you're right. Oh, I wonder what your dad's doing now. <gasps> Daddy. Oh my gosh! We'll be in River Sea Fingal any moment. I must do the stock take. Right. Juice. Juice. Check. Sugar. Oh, I must replenish the sachets. Right. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Well. Oh. That should be plenty. Right. Fruit. Oh. I haven't got any left at all. I've completely sold out. And. Final promotion of the day. Snack crumbles. I haven't sold a single one. Oh, what's gone wrong? See, I've worked really hard all day to promote these delicious snack crumbles and I haven't sold a single one. Everyone seems to want to buy fruit and I haven't got any left. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock when I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's, Granny Murray was doing a keep fit routine with the children. The children dressed Claude as a keep fit instructor. He looked really fit. I gave Granny Murray one of my special promotion snack crumbles. She thought it was delicious. At nine o'clock, I was setting up my snack crumbles display when Dr. Juno came in the boofy car. She gave me a lot of healthy eating leaflets for people to take. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John came into the boofy car. He seemed very keen to try my snack crumbles, but then he changed his mind and had an apple instead. At two o'clock when the train was on its way back to Riversea Fingal, I still had just as many snack crumbles as ever. Chuck and Louie really fancied trying the snack crumbles, but when I gave them Dr Juno's leaflet, they changed their minds. They wanted some fruit, but there was none left. At three o'clock, I decided to do a stock take, and I discovered that I hadn't sold a single snack crumble, but that the fruit was completely sold out. Where did I go wrong? Now remember, Always take the advice you give. Always take the advice you give. Well, I'm giving people advice to eat a lot more fruit by giving out Dr Juno's leaflet. But really, I should be taking my own advice and giving them a lot more fruit to eat. What this boofy car needs is an awful lot more fruit. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song The train leaves River Sea Fingal, take two This time the special promotion of the day, fruit <laughs> Wow, Raymond, this looks very impressive My healthy eating campaign must be working mm, So what can I get you? Oh, I fancy one of those snack crumbles you had earlier on. Have you got any left? Well, certainly, but would you not be better taking your own advice and having some fruit instead? Oh, these leaflets must be working. OK, I think I'll have a juicy apple. Mm -hmm. You'll be jumping with health. I will. And I'll soon be jumping home to see you in River Sea Fingal, my Lisa. Made some lovely apple crumble for pudding, Lisa. But you'll need to finish up your dinner before you get some. You too, Granny Muddy. Oh, you're right, you know. Okay then. <laughs> Daddy will be here to pick you up soon. Where are you, Daddy? Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always take the advice you give. It saved the day. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, good darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a keep fit instructor because I had been teaching the children my keep fit routine. When Raymond arrived with Lisa, he gave me a snack crumble. It was really delicious. Later on, Lisa and I went to town. When we were going down the stairs, she reminded me to hold the handrail like I had told her. After that, I was teaching Lisa how to cross the road and I forgot that I had told her always to hold my hand on the road. Lisa reminded me. At dinner time, Lisa told me I had to eat up all my dinner if I wanted some apple crumble. So I took her advice. When Raymond came to collect Lisa, he told me that he had remembered to always take the advice you give and it saved the day. Mmm... Delicious. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <laughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean. But don't just sit there, fruit tubes. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a game of charades. I know what a policeman. Yes! <laughs> a train driver <gasps> with a big, big steering wheel. A bus driver. That was brilliant. Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rudy <laughs> with Jack. Hello there, Rudy. Hi, Hi Granny Murray. there and Jack. Well done. <laughs> there you go, Jack. We're miming different jobs that you might see people doing in the city. Oh, wow, it sounds great. <laughs> but now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a window cleaner? And we can squidge your way over to the chairs. All oh, right, you are, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're a fan of the city, then, Granny Murray? Oh yes, there's always something going on in a city, day or night. There's all the underground trains rattling below your feet, <laughs> and the big tall buildings that soar straight into the sky. Claude would get a wee bit dizzy trying to clean some of those windows. Oh. And the city traffic. The people. The shops. The noise. Oh, I love it all. <laughs> oh, you just never know what's going to happen next in the city. You've got to remain on your toes at all times, ready to deal with the unexpected. Well, once when I worked in Nicholson's department store, I turned up for work one morning and they were repairing the road right outside my display window. So, I had the idea to dress the dummies in the shop window up as workmen. <laughs> so there were workmen in the shop window and outside. <laughs> wow, what a clever idea. Well, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, well, you look at Claude. He's ready to go cleaning some windows. Oh, and I'd best be off to work too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Claude, <laughs> you look every inch the window cleaner. Oh, has he got his squeegee? Oh, he certainly has. <laughs> it's a window cleaner. For me, my very own squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's no windows on my market store, but you never know when the unexpected might happen, eh? <laughs> Very true, Rudy. Right, you give me a cuddle. 
Go on. Ah, behave yourself. See you later, kids. Come on, Bridgie. Now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking me shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, Roadworks! Hello, Tram! Hello, Sweeper! Hello, Van! He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away Hey! Do I go up now? Or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know Thanks for that. Now what? Ah yeah, I need to put on my work clothes <laughs> All dressed and ready to go <laughs> Morning Rudy, how are your bananas today? <laughs> All the better for seeing you Mickey John. How many would you like? Well, uh, I think one will keep my energy levels up for the day, thanks. Oh, OK, then. There you go. And it's on the house. Oh, thank you very much. So, you're looking after Rebecca today. <laughs> I'd imagine you'd need all your energy for that. No, I'm teaching. Actually, I'm taking some of my class on a field trip. <gasps> wow! Where to? The city centre. I thought it'd be fun for them to experience the sights of a busy city day. There's certainly lots to do and see in the city. Oh, I'd imagine there is. And speaking of imagination, just think of all the things in the city you can't see. Like, under our feet. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? Well, think about it. Under our feet, under the pavement, are miles and miles of pipe and wire, bringing gas and electricity and clean water to our homes and offices. And every time you flush the toilet, it goes whoosh, right under our feet. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, I wish I was coming on your city trip, Mickey John. It sounds loads of fun. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll pop by with my class and we'll say hi. Oh, right. And I'd... Better make sure my windows are clean if I'm going to have visitors. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. Rudy, huh? you missed the spot. Ah, oh, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Jack is. <laughs> I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Ben lorries certainly are noisy, aren't they? Oh, like a big robot, isn't it? It is, Jack. Look at the big claw. Did you see all the rubbish getting poured in? Oh, it's a bit stinky too. Ah. Oh, what a noise. What are you doing in the market, Daddy? On my way to work and I drilled like this. <laughs> drilled like this. Drilled like this. I was on my way to work and I drilled like this all day long. I was on my way to work and I drove like this. Drove like this. Drove like this. I was on my way to work and I drove like this all day long. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this. Tickled like this. Tickled like this. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this all day long. <laughs> 
Oh, you're a great sport, Rudy. Yeah, I'd have to be with two clowns like you about. Oh, Rudy, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, right, back to work. And do be do be do. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do. And what I do is sell to you and you and you. All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you the market stalls are there to view Oh, the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle The bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic And spilling about the smell's all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place I told you I'd be back with the children. Oh, so you did, Mickey John. Hello, kids. Um, help yourselves to an apple on the house. Here, Rudy. What do you reckon this is? Oh, um, oh, oh um, don't tell me. It's um, an elephant's pea shooter. <laughs> no, it's something much more useful than that. It's called a listening probe. It helps people to listen for water under the ground. Oh. Try it. <laughs> Other way, Rudy. Silly me. Uh, uh. Oh, wow! Hey, Mickey John, you can hear water under the ground. Ooh. You have a go. All right. OK. Whoa. I can hear it too. There must be a big water main running right under your market stall. Ooh. Oh, dear. A puddle. I think your pipe must have sprung a leak. Is that bad? Well, it's not good. Not to worry. I'll go back to the school bus, get my mobile phone, and phone the water board from there. I'm sure they'll send someone out to repair the leak right away. Oh, brilliant. How exciting. There's a leak living under my stall. <laughs> hey, perhaps Jack Squeegee will come in handy after all. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Oh, oh, will you look at that? <laughs> Whoever would have thought washing windows could be so exciting? Hello there. <laughs> Watch you don't drop your clothes. <laughs> Give them a wave, boys. Do you see them? Look. Hello. <gasps> oh, my goodness, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Daddy? Good news, Rudy! The water board are on their way. And first, they want us to try and find the spot where we think the water's coming from. Oh, all right. Oh, any sign? Yeah, that sounds like the spot. Oh, oh you certainly hit the spot, all right, Mickey John. I, I mean, uh, we have to be getting along. Uh, the children's parents will be waiting. Sorry, Rudy, we've got to go back to but, school. But, but, Mickey John, what about my stool? My leaks are getting leaked on. Sorry, Rudy, bye-bye. Ah! Oh, great. I've been working hard all day and suddenly, whoosh, a burst water main drenches everything. Oh, it hasn't been five minutes since Mickey John turned up with his elephant's pea shooter and now look. Oh. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Jack to Granny Murray's house. The children were playing charades. Jack set to work, helping them dress Claude up as a window cleaner. At eight o'clock, Mickey John arrived and told me all about his class field trip he was taking to the city. At nine o'clock, Louie and Chuck unexpectedly appeared and clowned around, as they often do when I want to get down to some work. At one o'clock, Mickey John and the children arrived. They brought a long funnel with them which helps you listen for water trickling through the water pipes below the ground. Mickey John found more than a trickle. He found a burst water made under my stall. 
What am I going to do? Now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Of course, I've got to do the unexpected and move my market stall away from the market before it gets washed away. Tina and her taxi can help. They have to. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Come on, folks, roll up, roll up. Everyone as fresh as the last. Get your lovely fruit and vegetables here. Roll up, roll up. Get your taxi home here. <laughs> and while you're about it, buy a lovely apple. It'll help to make the journey crisp. <gasps> Looks like your day wasn't a total washout after all, Rudy. Oh, you can say that again, Tina. Hurry back. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having an exciting time like me, Jack. You're working hard today. What have you found in your hole, Mr Whitman? I found... A teddy bear. A teddy, just what I was looking for. <laughs> and a, a long claw. Brilliant. And a bucket. Oh, you are fantastic, Mr Digger. <laughs> well, I think you better fill in your hole because your dad will be coming to pick you up soon. I want to be with you, Daddy. To see you, Jack. Hello, Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected, and it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a window cleaner from the city because we were going to see the different jobs that people do around the city. We walked around and watched the busy refuse collectors emptying the bins. We saw window cleaners too. Oh, they were so brave, perched high outside the windows of a huge office block. Jack and I were glad to keep our feet on solid ground. Oh, or rather under it in Jack's case, when he was digging for teddy bears in my garden. Mickey John dug up some trouble for poor Rudy when he unexpectedly burst a water main under his stall. Oh, still, Rudy had a surprise up his sleeve to deal with the problem. And nobody expected him to do that. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.